I want every American to be prepared for the hard days that lie ahead. It is spreading fast. This is truly an unprecedented situation. Hundreds dead, more than 14,000 infected. It has already killed more than 17,000 people. More than 700,000 people have been infected. This virus doesn't discriminate. It attacks everyone. Just a short time ago, the new U.S. ban going into effect. It's uh, officially called a stay-at-home order. To a nationwide lockdown. Ordering everyone to stay at home. It's been a year, even though it feels like 10. This is our reality, but nothing has felt real in a long time. When the first case was reported on the news, my wife and I were not too concerned because we were all the way on the west coast, but it spread quickly. One day, It showed up on our TV. This is an urgent message for the American people. This is not a test. This great nation was unable to financially sustain the growth we were experiencing. For this reason, the U.S. government covertly released a deadly virus, killing half of the country. These measures were put in place to combat overpopulation. As of this moment, this permanent stay-at-home executive order has been put in place. The American public is no longer allowed outside of their homes. Food will be provided to you weekly on drop day. The amount will be based on the number of people in your household. All businesses are hereby closed. All social gatherings for any purpose are forbidden. Lastly, as a means to further lower the population of these United States, childbearing is now illegal. Only select households may have children. This is an indefinite ban. Monthly checks will be done in order to enforce this law. Failure to comply with any of the listed executive orders will result in severe punishment or even death. We are always watching. Remember, we as a people must make sacrifices for our country. Thank you for doing your part. have that nightmare when it's raining. I don't know what I would do without my wife if they took her. Life as we knew it has become a distant memory. Our reality feels like a dream that we may never wake up from. The power gets turned off every night. We spend much of our time, it seems, in darkness. to be quiet. I can't lose them. They are all I have. I am scared for my family every day. When you live like this, in constant fear, nightmares you had as a child return to haunt you. Those fears are now more real than ever. stay-at-home order was put in place, my wife was pregnant. Though we knew it would affect our total food rations, we acted as though I had lost her to the virus and it was just me in the house. We thought it was a small price to pay. During each monthly check, my wife hides. Now, my son hides with her. I cannot risk them being taken.
Mr. Johnson, I do need to ask you a couple standard questions that we're asking all citizens. Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson? I need to ask you a few questions. As we approach 10 years from the release of the virus... Wait, how... what do you mean, 10 years? It's... it was released a year ago. I think you're confused. Mr. Johnson, the virus was released 10 years ago this month. According to my records here, your wife was taken not soon after. No, that's not possible. My wife has been with me the whole time. Mr. Johnson, your wife broke the law. She was pregnant. Government officials took her 10 years ago this month. I was there, I remember.